Right, it's Mrs Ludlow with her experiment on how to make a uh, measuring jug. We want to measure the capacity of these three containers. One's a bottle, it's a shower gel empty and a sandwich filler tub. And um, we're going to do that by making a measuring bottle out of this plastic uh, bottle, empty bottle. I'm going to use a funnel, mark pen, a hundred milliliter bottle. I didn't have a beaker at home, uh, and some uh, some lip, some water. Okay, it's just coloured water so that you can see it in the. And here's a smaller jug because it's easier for me to pour out than that huge one. Okay, so we're going to get started. This is the one that we're going to use for our measuring jugs. I'm going to empty it right out to start with, and we'll put those aside for now. And this is the one that's going to be helping us to mark those 100 milliliter intervals okay <clears throat> so i'm going to get my funnel and i've got some uh liquid here i've got some water just colored with food coloring i'm going to fill it up so i get 100 milliliters and then i'm going to pop that into the my new measuring bottle okay so those 100 milliliters have gone into there and all I'm going to do and try not to get in the way of the camera is I'm going to mark a line here and that line is going to be my 100 milliliters okay Pen's not all that good, but um, I'll go over it again so it'll be clearer. And then I'm just going to carry on filling up my 100 millilitres. I've got to get some more liquid from the big one. And this is going to be 200. Two hundred. It's got a little. Uh, the the side of the bottle's got like dents in it, which is why that's gone a bit, a bit uh, of a weird too. So this is three hundred. I'm going to put millilitres on there. This is four hundred. writing so I'm trying to do too many things at once and I'm just going to go up to 500 um, because I know that that bottle is not up to one litre ordinarily I'd go right the way up to making my uh, a whole litre which would be 10 lots of 100 millilitres which is a thousand millilitres but also it's getting a, a bit I don't want you to get bored watching I've had enough now anyway okay so we've got a 500 milliliter measuring bottle okay and what we're going to do now don't need my hundred one anymore my funnel my jug and I'm going to <clears throat> 
first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up these bottles, which is, oh, that's the top of the, um, the shower gel coming off. Let's see if I can do this without spilling it. This will be a bit of a miracle. So I'm filling this right the way up to the top. Oh, yeah, a little bit of spillage. Okay, and then I'm going to do that one. This is just a, a sandwich filler pot. I might have to tip that one into the jug first before I tip it in because it's got quite a wide sort of lip on it. And then this is the J20 one. I'm just going to do this over the big bottle. Just for speed. Try not to create too much of a mess. Right, so we've got the three bottles here. We've got the three containers. We've got the J20, the shower gel, and the sandwich filler. Okay. And now I'm going to see if I can use my measuring bottle to measure the amount of fluid that's in there, amount of liquid that's in there. Right, I'm going to do this one first. All I'm doing, is no tricks. All I'm doing is because that's really wide and it's never going to go into that top one. I suppose I could try it with a funnel. I don't know if you can see it, actually. Let's get the jug out of the way. That would help, wouldn't it? I don't think, if I take it right the way back, I don't even think I'll get that one in. Oh, well, perhaps I can. So I'm going to fill it up with the sandwich filler. Whoa, that went for it, didn't it? Okay, and you can see it's filled it all up. That one's empty. So the capacity of this one, according to this, is 100, 200, 300 millilitres. So I'm going to write on the side here, so we've got a bit wet, 300 millilitres capacity, okay? So the capacity of that one is 300 millilitres. There it is. So I filled it right the way up to the top, tipped it into this one, and there you go for my... Um, my capacity so I know that one is 300 millilitres done and then this one this is my shower gel thank goodness I found a funnel at home <laughs> that, saved, that saved quite a bit of time right here we go with the shower gel now and in it goes oh it's built a bit there not too much though Oh, that's right on it. I love that. These are exact these, aren't they? So that one, you see that, is 400. That's my dodgy four there, I'm afraid. 400 millilitres. So this shower gel is 400 millilitres capacity. Okay, and now we've just got the J20 one now, which is right filled up to the top. <laughs> oh. Nearly done. And last one, what do you think? Do you think it's going to be more or less than that one? Is it taller, but is it wider? Oh, it's a tricky one, isn't it? Do you think it's going to be between the two, or do you think it's going to be more than 400? Oh, or do you think it's going to fill that up? I don't think it's going to fill that one up, is it? Well, let's hope not. Okay. So last one, I'll pop it back here. Have another go. Here it goes. This is the J2O. In it goes. We can't be too lucky and have it right on that. Oh, look at that. Well, I'm quite shocked at that. I thought that would be more than that. It's actually got the same amount as, the same capacity as the sandwich uh, filling uh, pot. It's exactly the same. It's come out at 300. Can you see that? 
So there we go. So I need to write that on there. And that is Mrs. Ludlow's measuring jug. Find the capacity of containers video. Quite still quite shocked that that is the same as that. But it is quite wide. If you look at the width of the bottom of that one, it's quite wide in comparison, isn't it? And that one, I didn't think that was going to be the most. And that one is actually 750, which is why I couldn't take it up. And I used that. Oh, that was a... Um, that was a window cleaning fluid um, pot from today. And there were 750 millilitres in there. So I've got my own very own measuring jug. Measuring, measuring, measuring with Mrs Ludlow. I hope you enjoyed that.